I did a thing. I went ahead and sold all of my camera equipment and used a portion of that money to buy one camera. One camera to rule them all. And uh, <laughs> I haven't even looked at what the footage looks like yet. Oh God. Was this a bonehead move or uh, am I brilliant? I don't know, we're gonna find out today. Hi, I'm Bo, this is Jackie Rides, and uh, yeah, so like I said in, uh, in the beginning, we uh, <laughs> we done sold all of our stuff, uh, two cameras to be specific and uh, appropriate lenses. Uh, I think it's good to set the uh, foundation for what this is. Um, there are a lot of reviews out there that are going to talk about like all the features and specs and yada yada yada. Um, that was mostly unimportant to me. I say for a few key things that I'll point out that are uh, beneficial to what I do. Uh, but more, we're just going to show what this thing can do and how I'm going to use it, and uh, and at the end decide whether or not this was an absolute mistake or not. <laughs> so, like I said, uh, sold all my cameras, two of them, uh, and their and their lenses, Blackmagic uh, Pocket Cinema 4K, and an old Sony A6500. Now, you might be uh, wondering why I would sell, especially the Blackmagic, uh, and get a little pocket-sized mobile camera in its place. So I think it's important to talk about like what brought me to that decision, because that is important for the overall decision of, of buying this camera. All right, GoPro, I'm in a uh, liquidation mood, so you better be careful. Here's the part where uh, I was on my bike talking about the cameras that I got rid of, but just to kind of set some ground rules. So. So I used two cameras, and I'm gonna make this quick. My main camera that I would use for most of my videos, and the one I would grab for photos and slow-mo, is a Sony a6500. Uh, the other camera that I used was a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. Probably my favorite camera that I've ever owned. Uh, I've come to slowly realize that the more difficult it is to, uh, to set it up, to get it running, the less likely I am to grab it. And you guys haven't seen very much, uh, if any, black magic uh, footage on this channel. Uh, most of it has been my GoPro, which is this close. Basically, what I'm saying is the simplicity of devices is, uh, is king. The two cameras that I got rid of were really nice, but they both came with their own pain points of getting them up and running and uh, carrying them around was kind of a pain in the butt. At any rate, that's what was going to be in this GoPro section, but uh, it, the audio crapped out right after, uh, right after I started. So, anyway, back to the, uh, the rest of the video. This is probably my favorite feature and what you'll see most of uh, from this camera. Um, of course, it's DJI, so they have uh, the active track or whatever it's called. That means I don't have to look at the camera for it to keep me in frame. Also, fire the person who put this GoPro on. It's gorilla tight. Uh, but also, if you can see, boom, little fuzzy boy. Mic built in, just like the Pocket 2, uh, which means literally just everything in one case. The cool thing is that this thing, I can actually start and stop recording, and it has internal storage. And that internal storage... Is 32-bit float that may not mean much to a lot of people so people who deal with thank God who sound all the time it's like a it's like raw audio high dynamic range audio which means you can't clip it it's easier to deal with in post so the lows aren't so low and the highs aren't so high I'm doing all this with one hand and it's just keeping me in frame that's freaking awesome I'm finding out all this stuff the same time you do. This is my first time really using it. I did a couple of little test shots, but this is the uh, angle that you'll see most of the time. It, it's really good. And uh, one of the main reasons that I wanted this, this camera. So I could have something to do this kind of stuff too.
this place called Lake Community Land Trust. I'm drying out now. What you guys are seeing right now is uh, one of my few problems that I've already noticed. And that's the fact that it's really blown out. And I can uh, get into why here in a minute. We'll fix this, but now I'm underexposed. There's some issues. So a lot of the content creators were sent review copies and in turn were sent the uh, creator bundle, which is what I purchased. But there's some things that aren't included in that creator bundle that nobody's really talking about. And that's one, the black mist filter. I don't care about that, so it is what it is. Uh, but the other is the ND filters. It's right now the camera's trying real hard to get my face. Uh, but the ND filter would let me drop that down. But you know, it is uh, something that you just you either get the ND filters separately or you just get used to using the auto and it does its best. So it's just one thing that I've noticed. Uh, there's like one guy that I saw that mentioned uh, about the ND filters. But I mean, other than that, the image quality, from what I've seen, I did a couple of test, uh, uh, test shots. It's really good. This place is kind of, <laughs> kind of cool, dude. It's like a amphitheater here. Uh, here's another really cool thing. I've just reframed the shot. And no matter what, it will try to keep me in. That's that active track, trying to keep me in that spot that I picked. But look at this amphitheater. It's like a little stage, a little fire pit. It's uh, pretty cool. Dude, those are like stone seats. Like, not an insignificant build. Oh, this is wild. All right, so let's get some shots of this stuff. Here it is again, the active tracking, uh, which I love because I can now do stuff like this where I am not actually having to hold the camera. Also, uh, this place is really awesome. The cell on it, it, it did not uh, sound like it was one, this large, but two, it's got a lot of stuff going on and really well built. I scanned a QR code, uh, I'll put it in the video and I'll put links if you want to like donate to places like this. They're community driven, so they don't, they're not for profit, I guess, or, or rely on community stuff. And check out these dope chairs. Like, I'm not gonna get on them because I don't know what their weight limit is. So it gave up uh, some pretty good quality imaging equipment for what is obviously struggling right now. You may be asking yourself why. Honestly, I'm willing to give up the quality for the ease of use. That's my trade-off. Some people aren't uh, willing to do that. Uh, their pinnacle is good quality. They'll sacrifice on other things like ease of use or portability and stuff like that. As long as it doesn't look like a potato, which uh, I've seen the footage out of this briefly, it doesn't. That's all I care about. Now, while my other cameras were much nicer, the simplicity of this thing has been remarkable. To be able to switch from talking to you guys, to slow-mo, to steady shots, and to have all of it built into one thing, it's like, the camera really doesn't matter. It does. Don't, I mean, it's not, oh, it doesn't matter what pen you use, it's the art. It, it, it's it's also the pen well it doesn't technically matter because we're at that point in technology where things look good no matter what the floor has been raised significantly i'm willing to take the hit on on quality now this new one's got a one-inch sensor so 
It's a lot better than the previous one. So you get a little more depth of field, better image quality overall. Let's do this little guy. Now I don't have the wide angle on. That does come with the creator kit. And that's really helpful when I'm holding it close. You'll notice I have a lot closer in those shots. This camera is made for social media, uh, whether or not you're just a regular social media user and you wanna, you know, you love taking videos and uh, photos uh, for like Instagram and stuff like that, or if you make a, a living on social media. I mean, it's really what it's geared towards. Like for instance, it has a portrait mode. It's a 3K instead of the 4K. Right, built in right in it. You, you swipe the little screen and and you just you can have this turn on immediately. But it also has an app that uses like AI editing to take a bunch of clips really quickly and put them through, which I've not tried. So let's see what this looks like. All right, so all in all, a good dry run to see what this camera is capable of. I create content that is very experiential. So being able to grab something and immediately start recording is paramount to me. I think most content creators on YouTube and Instagram could benefit from having something that looks good, that is so easy to use might find that they end up using it more than their bigger stuff. And if I'm using it more, there's no reason to keep the old stuff. So, so far, I'm feeling pretty good about my purchase, but uh, we'll really see when we get back to the editing room. Also, if you're in this area, you should definitely come check this out. Community Land Trust. Uh, look super duper uh, hippy dippy online. And to be fair, it still kind of is. But uh, that's a cool spot. So, like, it goes far back there. There's a little, there's a map and everything. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, let's get back to the editing room and see what we can do with all this footage. You know, let's get on the bike and let's uh, head back to the house. So this thing, um, this thing is great. This this little guy was literally the beside from the opening when my GoPro. This is literally the only camera I had with me today, and I'm sure there are going to be plenty of videos where this is the only thing I'll grab. I have reduced a, a 30 pound backpack now to about 10 pounds. That's including one of those tiny, cheap knockoff drones. You know, my GoPro, this guy, and a and a drone, and I can film literally anything and be ready to go five, 10 minutes tops. Some people are going to say that they need the other stuff, big cameras, and some people will swear by those things. More power to them, right? And for what I need, which is to bring you guys along with me as I go out and I experience the world, I, I can't think of a better camera to accomplish that. And, and quite honestly, like no hyperbole, I think every person making content on any platform could stand to put one of these in their kit, or this to be their kit. I am, after you know, going through all the footage and the slow-mo, and the, my only complaint is an easily fixable complaint, which is an ND filter, which doesn't come with this creator kit, and you have to buy it separately. That's it. I, I'm willing to, to sacrifice a little bit on quality for more usability than literally anything else that I 
that I owned and now no longer own. This is it. I didn't get sent this by DJI. I, I have no relationship with them whatsoever, uh, but I highly suggest you guys uh, check it out. And if you want to purchase one, I'll leave a link to uh, an Amazon page where you can uh, pick one up. The base is like 500 and something dollars. The creative kits uh, combo is like 700 and change, 750 out the door or something like that. Uh, I'll put links to that. Uh, check those links out. There's also a link for Teespring until the 25th of this month, November. The alien shirt is available. That monthly thing is going to change. I had a long conversation with somebody and we're gonna do stickers because like he said, you said collector cards. So we're just gonna do stickers once a month and then every once in a while we'll do a really, really special limited run design for like t-shirts. Uh, let me know down in the comments what you think about that. I think it's a, a much more fun idea. We'll actually have like collector cards, uh, but they're stickers and not cards. Collector stickers. Uh, down there in the description, uh, all links of everything that I use is down there. They're all affiliate links. I do get a kickback. I, I spent my own money on this. Not that that fucking matters. When you hear that on reviews, take that with a grain of salt. People got to make money, money somehow. And how I'm going to try to make money is through uh, the affiliate link, of course. But I honestly, even though I have no choice now because I got rid of the camera, so I'm glad I made this decision because this is an easy, quick solution to literally every problem and the compromises are minimal anyway that's it information about the place that we visited uh for this beautiful b-roll um will be in the description as well like i said and there's a qr code in the video somewhere if you want to donate and i'm sure they'll have that information on their site that'll be it for me today go pick you up one they're freaking awesome dji another killer 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 product um until next time be safe be kind The active track is dope. Oh, and it does live streaming and webcam. You can live stream straight from this thing. I may do that later on. Bye.